Hey guys, it's Jessica, and I want to wish you a happy Star Wars Day and tell you, first and foremost, may the 4th be with you. Uh, so, in honor of Star Wars Day, I decided to make a Star Wars theme card, um, and it features this super adorable Chewbacca uh, SVG file that I got um, for free from an online website that I will link in the description if it's still available. I've actually had this for almost two years, so it may not still be available. Um, but it's not for sale. It's just um, somebody created it and they were sharing it. Um, so if you do find it and use it, please don't use it uh, as something that you're going to sell. Um, definitely, especially now that Disney owns Star Wars, uh, they are not cool with that. Um, and I don't want anybody to get in trouble for using this and selling it. So just a fair warning there. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm making a cute little card with a sentiment that I printed on the computer. Um, and it just says, congrats. Chewlations, like Chewbacca. Um, so I love a good pun and I couldn't resist this one. Uh, this is perfect for any nerd in your life uh, for weddings or who knows, anything. They graduated college, um, just about anything you can think of that you need to send a congrats card for. This is perfect. Um, so it has a ton of little pieces. So here you can see I am just trying to figure out exactly where everything goes so that I have a game plan before I start gluing. I wish that I had kind of done all of the pieces first so that I didn't end up doing exactly what I'm about to do right now, which is realizing after I glued something down that something else was supposed to go underneath it. Uh, so luckily it was still a little bit wet and I was able to pull up the bottom of that piece so that I could stick the little legs under there. Um, and it didn't really impact my card at all, but if I had waited any longer, it probably would have ripped and I would have had to have started over. Um, so I definitely got pretty lucky. Uh, so one by one, I just glue all of my little pieces together, and this is definitely the most tedious part of the card. Um, all those little die cut pieces. Um, and I used my Cricut Explorer to uh, cut these pieces. And I actually used the Cricut Explorer to uh, print and create that sentiment also. I used the print then cut feature uh, so I could use their font and then it would cut out my rectangle in the perfect size and shape for me. Um, I find that really convenient so I use it when I can um, or when it's needed. Uh, so here I'm still putting all my little pieces together and I'm just using a glue pen uh, from Zig to do that. And I really like the way that this particular uh, paper piecing element comes together. Um, I didn't use every single piece that was available, um, but I thought it still turned out really cute um, with the pieces that I chose to use. Um, so now I'm doing the head and then it kind of cuts off at the end, but I glue on the light colored part of the face. Um, the part that you don't see is those tiny little dark brown circles I glued in place inside the eyeballs. Um, and the mouth, oh, well, the mouth I'm doing now, I guess. Um, so I put the mouth in, I put the little eyeballs in, and then I used a white gel pen to draw little eyes so that it looked not just like a huge vacant space. It makes it look so cute. I really like the way that makes die cuts look um, when they have those little eye socket areas. <laughs> just adds like a little something extra so it's not so plain. And there is a peek at how he turned out. I just think he's super adorable. Um, so there he's going to go right on the front of my card. He's going to be the center of attention. Um, I like the yellow pop of for the frame or for the... Um, mat of the card uh, and obviously that black is super plain so what I decided to do is make a super duper simple galaxy or space background and what I'm doing is I'm using some mostly white is kind of off-white paint just some acrylic paint that I had on hand um, and this Tim Holtz splatter brush uh, and I'm just glooping some paint onto my craft mat and then I dip my splatter brush right into it and then the beauty of this thing is it's designed to do all the work for you. So you just sort of sproing it. I don't even know what you call this motion or how to explain it. I tried it that way and I didn't really love it as much with the tapping. Um, I, I didn't really get the, the results that I wanted. Um, I found that doing this little flicking thing worked better for this particular 
background that I wanted, where it looks kind of like you're flying through space. Um, and this is so simple. I can't believe how fast that background comes together. Um, the longest part was cleaning up the paint off of my craft mat and that took about a minute. <laughs> um, so then I didn't want to wait for it to completely dry and I didn't want anything to smudge. So I just took my heat gun to it for a few seconds and I heated the front and the back to help it um, not be quite as warped. And then I'm ready to go ahead and attach it to my card front. Um, so... I was having some trouble with my tape gun. I've never had that happen before, but it kind of got jammed. Um, I'm not really sure what happened, but I was able to fix it, so that's positive. Uh, and I went ahead and attached my card front to my card base, and look how cute. It looks like a bunch of stars and solar systems in the back, and I love how it's so random. Once upon a time, I made a card like this, and I hand drew every single star with a white gel pen. Number one, my hand cramped a lot, and I really just... I think this looks so much better with it being so random and, um, you know, just kind of coming together that way. So I'm off screen a little bit there, um, but I did just go ahead and attach some foam dots to my sentiment and I mounted it on the card front. Now I'm attaching foam dots to my little Chewbacca and I'm going to do the same and mount him on the card front and that will complete my card. Uh, so I am going to be giving this card away to one lucky person on Instagram. So if you don't follow me yet, be sure to follow me on Instagram and like the photo that I'm going to share for this video. Um, I'm going to have a video of this card there that you can like. Um, and then tag a couple people that you think might like it and you will be entered to win. Um, so details on that will be available on Instagram. Here is one final look at the card and how it turned out. I hope you love it and that you create something adorable for Star Wars Day 2. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.